Last year, I made a video on YouTube on how to install mods on Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. But now it's quite different. So I'm going to now show you how to install mods on Totally Accurate Battle Simulator again as of August 2020. The first thing you should do is check your game's version by opening the game and once you get to the main menu, look at the bottom right. The number there that it says there will be like 0.12.1, at least that's what it says for me. You just need to keep in mind those first few numbers like the 0.12.1 or whatever kind of options. You don't have to go further in depth of like all the different numbers, just, just those main ones. So I've attached a link to the description that we're going to be using for the purpose of this video that has all the mods. You can see it in the description. Just click show more and it's literally there where it says the link. I don't know why a lot of people had so much issues trying to find this link in the previous video for some reason. So when you open this link, you'll see there's lots of different folders here. So we're going to go to this folder here that matches the version of the game that we have. So we are using 0.12. This is 0, .0 but however, it does work for 12.1 because 12.1 actually just came out so that's kind of like inconvenient but it still works i did test it so go into this folder dubbed version 0.12.0 or whatever the version that you're using in the future it might be a higher number so there's two different folders here the first thing you need to do is the uml this is the like a umod loader so this is the one thing that you're going to need to be able to load mods into your game so open this you'll see in here there is a folder called steam edition go into that and then you'll see there's one file in here. It is an assembly slash C sharp dot DLL file. So we're going to right click this and we're going to download it straight to our computer's download um, you know, page. So save. Yes, I want to download it. Now I've already got my downloads folder over here, right? So I'm going to copy this here. But first, I want to actually get to the game files. So to get to the game files, you would take Steam or however you installed the game. Go into Steam for if you did install it on Steam or just go to where the files are loaded on your computer. If you are using Steam, all you have to do is go to your library, click home, find the game on the left side of this little menu, right click it, click properties, and then go to local files and then browse local files. And this will open up a folder of the files that you're going to be using. So the first thing you should do is go into the totally accurate battle simulator underscore data, this folder right over here. And then you're going to be going into a folder here called managed. What I do suggest is make this alphabetical so that you can see it from A to Z. This file over here, you might want to make a duplicate because if one of the mods doesn't work, you're going to want to fix this file over here. So I would say copy this file and place it somewhere, somewhere safe, just on your desktop, somewhere where you can keep it for later use in case the mods don't work and you want to go back to your base game file. Because mods can sometimes break your game and then your game has like a black screen or it doesn't open and that might freak you out. So always back this up, trust me. So looking back at my downloads of that assembly slash C sharp file that we just downloaded, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to take it to that game file right over here and I'm going to just paste it and it's going to overwrite or replace the one that's already existing here. Obviously, you've already backed this up so that losing this is you know not going to be a problem for you. You should really back it up, by the way. Okay, so we've replaced it with the new one. That means that we now have the UMod loader loaded, basically. <laughs> Lots of loading. Okay, now head back to the link that I sent you in the Google Drive, and we're going to go back here. We're going to go straight to the, the official library here. So you're going to obviously go back to the same version you're using, 0.12.0 for me, and then UMods. Now, these are the mods that you're going to be actually loading. You can only do one at a time, I think. I'm not sure. I haven't actually tried loading more than one, but I do suggest try loading one at a time because otherwise your game's just going to go nuts. So these folders here are the ones that contain the mods. Some of them are actually empty. Um, some of them aren't. The one that isn't empty is the Stalingrad 4 by Meme Dealer, which is what we're going to be using for the purpose of this video. You're going to see there's two files in here. There's this file here, and then there's a Stalingrad4.dll file. So we're going to download these right over here. Now, if you head back to your downloads page, you'll see it is downloaded in a zip file here. I'm just going to extract this right over here. Easy peasy. Obviously, it's these two files, these Stalingrad ones here, and I'm just going to copy them or even cut them. It doesn't really matter. I'm actually going to cut it because I'm going to clean up this folder later. Anyway, now we're going to head back to our game files. Now, you'll see on the screen here where you see all these files here where it says totally accurate battle simulator underscore data or where you actually installed the game. If you don't have the UMods folder like this, you should actually make one yourself. So just make a new folder and call it UM in capitals and then ODS in lowercase. So it's UMods. Just like this, literally just like that. Make a folder like that if it doesn't already exist. And then you're going to go in here and you're literally just going to paste those two files that you got. Paste them in there. Easy peasy. And now you can go play the game and you have the mods. You can go experience all these different things. And, and I'm going to just showcase some of the stuff that you can do. It's pretty crazy. Have a look. 